Hey guys, Mike, it's Darren today. I've got some more Euro Truck Simulator 2 for you guys, so I'll get straight into it. And as you can see in the top right corner, I've got 795 XP, 405 miles driven, and I've got a 1.7 driver rating. I'm still a newbie, unfortunately, but I've got £7,953. I don't know what that little minus sign next to it means, because that is not minus money. A minus sign would be on the opposite side. But anyway, we'll get into a quick job, uh, because unfortunately I've still not got a truck. But is that another... To Sheffield, I'm not going to Sheffield. I'm sorry, guys. Right, Manchester to Grimsby. Right, if I go do that, oh shit, that was three hours and six minutes, so this video might be a little bit longer. But unfortunately, guys, there's nothing I can do about that because I don't want to keep doing the same journey to Sheffield. I'm pretty sure you guys don't want to see me keep doing the same journey to Sheffield either. Right, I've gone the wrong way. The gate's over there. Oh, the gate's over there. Right. Get my lights on. Let's get moving. This is the Volvo where you feel really low down in it, by the way, guys. So, oh god, what's that? Yeah, I'm in. I'm in the UK still, aren't I? So yeah, last side. Get the blame if you can't find nothing. Right. There seems to be no traffic right now, which is pretty awesome because I hope no traffic's gonna roll me up now. I'll say that. And then I'll get down there and there'll just be a shitload of traffic just gonna queue me up. Oh, red lights here, red lights there. Whoa. Get the beam if you can't find nothing. Do, 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 do. One green light, go. I would say though this like the interior in this truck does actually look very, very smart. I'm not gonna lie guys. I think this is, if I had a choice of any truck, I'd probably choose this one. Well, not exactly this one, but the, the most powerful of this, which has got 750 brake horsepower, and the Scania that I've got on my other save, which I've modded and cheated and stuff like that, I got like a level hack, so I'm like level 163 with 1 million XP and shit like that, but that was a non-legit account, but that's like, if you're wondering can you get banned for that, no you can't, because when you actually load up your save, or you click on your profile, it says mods entered, or enter new mod, or use mod or something, it says shit like that. And you can actually use mods and cheats like that on the game. Because at the minute it's not an online game, but when it does come out online, I think you've got to create a new account for online, or something like that. Or either that, or you can use the same account and the same truck and shit like that, but you can't mod the online gameplay only the single player gameplay. Which I'm hoping that's what it'll be. Because then I won't have to get rid of my Pro Mike HD account and I can actually go online with, say, you guys come on or something in Pro Mike HD account. But I think that'd be pretty awesome if we could all go online and just say, like, say, like, eight of us or maybe ten of us, we can all just go on Skype or something in a group call and we can all just go on a road trip on the game. Because I've got the Going East DLC as well, so we could just, I could even live stream it as well, guys, depending on, like, what the online is like whether it's not laggy or something on the server because you can get some mine it's a bit like minecraft like well it's not but on the prospect of servers and stuff it is because minecraft servers you can get some that are really good and they you get even on like a bunk standard laptop like my mum's you can get like 60 fps while spinning around or running around or doing whatever but then on some you can get like 10 and i went on my pc last night on minecraft and my cousin brad opened up a server and Normally when I went on my mum's laptop I was getting about 20, 30 frames a second but now on my, on my new PC uh, I'm getting about in between 250 and about 400 around there uh, which is absolutely awesome considering I've just jumped up from like 20 to 30 frames and I'm going on now like 300 average which is awesome in my eyes that is fucking cool fucking cool I got that from Mrs. Brown's boys, by the way, guys, if you're wondering why the hell am I saying fecking, but if you've never seen Mrs. Brown's boys, uh, I recommend you go and watch it, but if you're not old enough, then ask your mum for, or dad for permission, saying that, I don't even know why I ever said that, because none of you will anyway, so, I don't even, that was just pointless me saying it, weren't you guys, yeah, yeah, it was, you all know it, right, I'm tempted to put high beams on, Um. Yeah, I'll put them on. But has this one got beacons? No, this truck hasn't got beacons, which is a bit unfortunate. 
And if you're wondering what beacons are, guys, they're like a big orange light that spin round on the top and show like it's a big load coming through. But saying that, I think I'm only driving. Oh, well, it's a 22 ton, so that's still quite a big load. So yeah. Oh shit, like that, this coach here, this is the one that's Steam put into this game. So I'm going to overtake this guy now. See, now this is what a bit what bugs me about these characters, like these drivers on the game. When they see you going to overtake, they do not like it. And they will over, like, they will slam their foot to the ground and get moving. Just so you can't overtake them. It is so frustrating sometimes. Especially like, like when I'm trying to overtake someone on like a sink, uh, like, just a, a one way, not a one way, like a dual carriageway, I think that's what it's called. Where there's one lane uh, going one way and then one lane going the other way, like through a country lane. I think it's called a dual carriageway. But, um, yeah, and when you overtake someone that's going very slow and you're like, Jesus Christ, just fucking move! Or just foobing move! I'm not going to swear anymore, I promise. But, um, you just slam your foot down and they just speed up to. To the max, honestly, you're just like, Argh! you just feel like writing them off, but then you'll get a fine, and then you'll probably get in trouble, and probably won't get paid for the job, which is a bit poo. I like all the buttons in this truck. Like, if I just like, can you see them all when I, when they all light up? They just look absolutely cool. Just the amount of buttons in this, it's just like a really gadgeted up truck. If you got what I mean by gadgeted up, is that a phone? Oh, that's what it is. If you look to like, um, you know, right? If I get rid of that mini map, the mini map on the like the sat nav on the da actual dashboard. If you look there and then look underneath it, that's actually a little phone, which is cool. And the little answer and decline button or put the phone down button is on your screen also. Um, on the steering wheel, so that's pretty cool. To be fair, this is actually. Is this game running smoother since I got rid of that sat nav? No, it's still not made a difference. Yeah. Oh god. Right, so we're going to Grimsby. When does my character need to dry uh, sleep? He's got nine hours and forty four minutes, so that's not too bad. Right, so I need to stay in this middle lane for Grimsby. Yeah, see in a bit, pal. Bye. Right, there's my high beams up there. I thought my high beams were on. Do we need any fuel? Nope. We got half a tank, as you can see there, on the top line of the sat nav, next to the bed, next to the messages, next to the D12 and the truck, right in the middle. Fuel. On some light like, trucks, there's actually a fuel gauge on the dashboard. Actually, there is. If you look carefully, can you see where I'm flashing this blue light on the dashboard? See that little like chart below it? There's a little like arrow kind of boat look-alike thing, and then a little blue thing. And if you look below it, uh, there's a little fuel canister thing, which is the amount of fuel I've got left. And if you watch it carefully, that will actually go down. But um, let me put my eye beams back on. No, don't. I'll do. They'll do. But um. As you can see, this truck has actually done 52,246 seven miles. 52,247 miles, which is quite a lot of miles. Now it's 248, 250. It's just jumped up two. Oh, is that 249? I don't know, but um. That's the only bad thing when you when you're not actually playing this game on a 1080p screen. Can you see how like in the dashboard a few of the buttons are quite blurry? That's not because of the settings that I've got this game set on. It's because of my monitor, like because my monitor cannot handle all these buttons, so that's probably why it struggles. So if I turn the lights off, that's actually really smooth without all the lights and all the buttons showing up, which is pretty strange. But because of all the texture, you can see all the texture in like the grass. And the road, like the tarmac, and they're not solid colours. If you get what I mean, they're actually like all shaded and everything. There's so much detail in this game; it's unreal. So that's probably why my la uh, my computer was like is struggling. But I did say it was running per perfectly smooth on ultra, which it was. But it was doing this on ultra, but a little bit smoother. So 
Um, it's probably because I, I, I honestly can't tell you, but I'm hoping that the monitor will actually make a difference. So we can only find out if my mate lends it me, which I mentioned last video, I think. Yeah, I think it was last video. But yeah, we're doing all right progress on this video, guys. Um, we're up to like, I think we're coming up to like, well, we've just gone over 10 and a half minutes now. Uh, we've got 33, 33 minutes left of the journey. Um, if I just go on my map and see how far away it actually is. So it's on the other side. Oh, oh wait, yeah. We're actually quite close if you can see on the minimap where I am. The little blue arrow coming into Grimsby. Just leave it on just until you see it. A lot of you have already probably seen it anyway, but yeah, that's that's me there. Can you see me? If if... Shit! No! Oh, shit! Uh oh. Right, I am going to get in a lot of trouble for that crash. 37%, I'm going to get in debt. I am going to get fined, I'm going to get in debt. Holy shit. Come on. Oh god, it's clicking. I broke the truck. Uh oh. Shit. So I... I did say I weren't going to swear, guys, but that was necessarily needed. Oh, no, don't grind on me. Please, just make it there, boo-boo. Come on. Come on, you can do it. Come on, you can do it. Why the f*** am I talking to this truck like that? What are you wrong with me? Nothing. Why would you even say that? Oh, no, 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 come on. Come on. Start back up. Start back up. Yes. Come on. You're 15 minutes away. Come on. Come on! Shit, that was one heavy ass boom. I was going like 50 mile an hour, something like that as well, which is pretty shitty. If you could have seen my face then, I know I said earlier about like in the last video about my eyes going like a um like a fishbowl that just like nearly came out of my head. I opened my eyes that wide. If you've ever seen a blue snowball mic, how big they are and how white they are, that is what my eyes were like just then. Oh my god. I just weren't expecting it, I was just like, shit! So I bang straight into the barrier, I was like, no, no. 37% damage. 37% damage and 7% damage to the fucking trailer. Oh. oh, can my day get any better? I shouldn't have said that, because it's probably just going to like... Oh my god! What are the chances of that? Can my day get any better and then I get done for a fucking speeding fine? Oh, sh oh. oh my god, what are the chances of that? Oh, thank god it's over. Right, but it's not over yet, because I've still got to turn left. If you wonder why I'm turning left, it's because I've said in the last video, stop you dickhead, there's a big truck coming through. Um, every single question mark I see, I go and explore it to see what it is, because it might be a recruitment agency, it might be a truck dealer. Truck dealer, IV code truck dealer. See, I could have, I could have needed that in the future to come when I buy a truck. I'll probably go for a Scania or a Volvo, but anyway, right. I need to get around this corner now. I can't believe I just did that. Can my day get any better? And then I get done for speeding. That is just. A PISS TAKE! But it's pretty funny at the same time, I hope you guys do like, laugh at that. Because, to be fair, if I was watching this, I don't know why I'm saying this. Oh, fuck, you know, why won't my brakes work then? Oh, ah! Right, I'm not commentating now, guys. I am not commenting. Oh, you fucking not bad. I'm not commentating for the rest of this video, guys. I am just going to I'm so commentating. Shut up, Mike! Traffic. Oh. Get in the car park. What thing, mother bob bob bob. Right, where am I parking? Oh, we meet again. We meet again. You motherfucker. Oh, shit. Oh, God. What were they hitting? What were they hit? What was they hitting? Was that me? Was they hitting my own trailer? Oh, 
like a glove. Oh, like an absolute bouse. Like an absolute motherfucking bouse. Look at that shit. Oh my god. That was fucking insane. How much did I get fined? Oh, they only took a grand off me? Okay, I'm fine with that. But anyway, guys, that's the end of part. I don't know why I said part, but that's the end of this. Uh, Euro Truck Simulator to Grimsby. So if you enjoyed, be sure to leave this video a like. Favourite, share this video. Thanks, it's absolute bunch watching. I'm Pro Mike HD. Peace out.